Pro-abortion President Joe Biden has nominated an abortion extremist judge to our nation's Supreme Court. Ketanji Brown Jackson has a history of defending barbaric late-term partial birth abortion, and she has a track record of ignoring the free speech rights of pro-life Americans. Jackson even admitted during Senate hearings that she was unable to define what is a woman and not sure when life begins. Someone who cannot recognize and defend women and their children should not sit on our nation's highest court. And someone who cannot define a woman has strategically and intentionally positioned themselves not to defend them. The fact that she is a woman and was appointed for that very reason has absolutely no bearing on the fact that she will seek to destroy the rights of those of her same gender. And not just women's rights, she'll be coming for men's rights too, because ultimately it's her goal to cause confusion and support confusion and legislate confusion, aiding and simultaneously abusing those who find themselves trapped in the prison of gender dysphoria and sexual sin. Someone who refuses to admit when life begins does so because they ultimately plan to eliminate that life. Murderous Biden has nominated murderous Jackson for that very reason, the racially motivated genocide of children. Oh, and someone who is defending and ultimately excusing the motivation behind child pornography does so because they plan to partake in it in some way or another. A culture that excuses attacks on children is on an expressway toward legislating attacks on children. Is it any wonder that pedophile Joe Biden is pursuing sex change surgeries for kids? It's not about their mental health. It's a subversive way of saying if they're old enough to consent to a sex change, they're old enough to consent to a sex act. It's always been about the children. It's just not even remotely a secret anymore. So I want you to use the link connected with this video to demand. Add your voice to the list that is letting the senators know we want to block the confirmation of Ketanji Brown Jackson. And will you stand with pro-life Americans to say no to that confirmation? Furthermore, take a stand as a Christian and stop voting for satanic, demonic, corrupt, and evil Democrat candidates who won't define life because they want to control yours and ultimately they want to take your kids.